here. You'll be redirected to access the module for quality management. Reports include employee, patient, and non-patient, such as visitors. There's also a print employee completed by someone other than the injured employee. Click on the database for your assigned area for General Hospital. Status Board and Managing Your Patient List This is the Inpatient Status Board. The main area is the current patient list. To the right are navigation buttons, and further right is the toolbar. At the bottom are buttons specific to the screen being viewed. At the bottom of this screen is a button called Manage List. Your name will appear at the top. Below are your current patients on the status board. You can add one patient at a time or choose by your location. Type all or part of the patient name, last name first, first name last, then click the binocular lookup icon on the toolbar. Available patients are in blue, with status, admit date, and location. And confirm your selection. The new patient is added. To remove a patient from your list, click their name and remove the highlight. At the bottom is the choice to assign these patients. To the right is the button to file or save this assignment. Select to replace the pre-existing assignment. Starting at the left is the patient room. This patient has a temporary location of the cath lab. The patient at the top with the black highlight indicates the patient is selected. Yellow is a warning for patients with the same last name. Displayed information to the right is decided by the facility. Most shaded items are clickable. Clicking the column header will reprioritize patient information. Flag indicators are clickable to view normal, abnormal, or critical results. Also, new routine or stat orders. In the lower corners, the arrows will indicate if there's additional information. Find patient will temporarily add the patient to the status board. When you log out and back in, the patient won't be displayed. This might be good to use if you need to access a patient chart while covering for another staff member's lunch. One navigation button to look at is called Print Report. This area contains reports and forms such as a Cardex, a patient handoff, or SBAR. It's your turn to manage your patient list using the information displayed. Type all or part of the patient name, last name first, first name last, then click the binocular lookup icon on the toolbar. and confirm your selection. Click and remove the highlight. At the bottom is the choice to assign these patients. File or save this assignment. Select to replace. Your other option is by location. Highlight and select your location. Highlight either the patient name or the room number. If you're assigned an empty room, by highlighting, assigning, and filing, when a patient is admitted to that room, they'll automatically appear on the status board. Your patient list is now updated. Everything is one click away. This includes a navigation button to patient notes. Your choice is enter new note. Click to select the highlighted choice. Verify with your facility or unit which type to select. We'll be selecting no type. Today we'll select nurse notes.